Hey, hey, I'm Sir Zao, and welcome to PYWG. That's Player Way Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about something we got from Best Buy, something called the Gamer Blind Bag. Put it up to the camera there so you can see it. It says over $25 worth of toys and collectibles for only $9.99. Now, me and my girlfriend went to Best Buy. Um, I can't remember where it was, but anyway, she was nice enough to buy me these bags for only 10 bucks each. Now, the whole goal here was... Um, before I had went to Walmart and bought sort of like mystery bags like this, but they were movie bags. Um, for example, they had like uh, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They had um, Chucky ones, and I'm a big fan of Chucky, so I got two of those thinking that maybe they would be different. Unfortunately, we found out that for the same price and the same bag, it came with the same contents, which kind of sucks. But with these, I was kind of worried about that. And then I started feeling around, and I got to say with this one, it says over $25 worth of toys and collectibles, but there doesn't really seem to feel like much in this bag compared to the second bag that we got, which we can tell already. Look at that, the difference, how full it is compared to how flat I can get that. So you see there already that there are different contents inside each bag, and that was the goal to find out. So that way you wouldn't go out there um, buying a, two bags that were necessarily the same. Um, I'm not saying that it can't happen, but the goal is for that not to happen. Um, so this one feels like it's got a book in it. I think that's the majority of the bulk that's in this one. Um, but yeah, for $9.99, gamer blind bag, over $25 worth. So let's open them up and find out. Give you one more look at the bag. Gamer toys and collectibles are waiting inside. Ultra cool fun, all packed inside to collect and share. Great value, low price. So let's go ahead and open this first one. This is the one that has a majority of air in it, as you can see. So let's see what's in this one. All right. Now that's pretty neat. That is awesome. So check that out. It looks like it's, um, let's see how we can open this, a pencil case or something, right? Take a look at the inside. Oh, that's real nice. And it is officially the Elder Scrolls from a loot gaming. That is actually pretty cool. Now, I, I haven't really gotten into Elder Scrolls that much, so that's why I didn't recognize it right away. But this is this is nice. It's got good quality, old rustic zipper, and then a quick clip if you want to go in your backpack or anything like that. This is actually really nice, and this is probably half of the value that's in the bag, honestly. So let's move that over to the side. We got our one item there, and let's see what else is in here. I don't want to open it up and look inside of it. I want to pull it out so you guys can see it just as I see it. Ooh, Fallout 4 right off the bat. We got a Fallout 4. Sorry, my lighting. I got to fix it. It's a Jangles bandana. <laughs> so check it out. I'm not a fan that it's like a white. Um, don't get me wrong. I really like white shoes and stuff like that. But what I don't like is that it gets dirty so quick. And with things like this, honestly, I'm probably never going to wear because it's more of collector's value for me. But let's go ahead and pull this out. And that's pretty neat. You got Jangles up there in the spaceship. There we go. Get it some light. And you just got yourself a nice bandana. All right, so that's the second item there. Let's see what else is in this one. All right, let's grab this. This seems interesting. Let's pull this out. An ID tag of Castlevania in its old school, old school arcade looking right there. See, I don't know why I wasn't putting it under the light in the first place like that, so you can see it better. But yes, that's actually pretty cool. Lug luggage tag. That's nice. Let's put that there. And do we have anything else in here? There is one more item in here. It feels like a pin. So, 2019 Loot Crate. And it is a collectible pin. A sword pin. You can't really see it right there. There we go. That's a little bit better. That's actually nice. I like that a lot. All right. So that's the first bag. As you can tell, we, we already knew that there wasn't going to be much in there. Um, let's see. So we got, yeah, 
four items. I pause there because I'm kind of, you know, with these blind bags, it's going to be like this all the time. I mean, this is cool. Don't get me wrong. I, I really like this, but I could have did without the bandana and the pin, honestly. Um, half the time when I get these pins, I don't use them anyways, so I'll just end up giving them to my girlfriend. Um, the bandana, I'll never really use. Like I said, it'll just it'll just go away um, for collector's purposes because I don't want it to get ruined, especially being a bright color. Um, yeah, so let's hope the next one is better, but essentially this is what you can get. I don't know how many of these bags there are at participating Best Buys, but this is an idea for you. Um, if none of these, you know, depending on the next bag, if none of these, you know, grab your attention, then maybe you could save yourself 10 bucks. But if you're just doing it to do it like I am and see and possibly get some nice things out of it, like this Elder Scrolls pen bag, travel bag, then, hey, I'd say go for it. $10 isn't that bad. All right, so now we're on to the next bag. The second bag, this one you can tell is more fuller. Um, it feels like we have more cloth stuff inside, so maybe it's like another banana or something like that, but let's go ahead and open it. Oh, I'm catching on something, which is obviously the book. I, I know this is a book because by the feel of it, it's either a little book or a comic by the feel of it. So let's go ahead and pull out out first. Show up and win. So this is a loot crate slam crate item from WE. Um, I think this is a notepad. I mean, it's nice. I like the color and everything like that. Show up and win. I do have some seems like damage right here that's i mean that could be from anything really packaging say it being thrown around um yeah so we have a book it's very stiff it's brand new from roman reigns so i am a fan of wrestling um little side note i used to wrestle back in the day um but I'm not quite sure why we got an item like this. Um, to me, I know there's the WWE 2K games and all that, but why is this item in this bag? I'm expecting stuff like Fallout, Elder Scrolls. Um, let me get this stuff out of the way, sorry. Fallout, Elder Scrolls, other game title items. But this right here, um, it's nice. But honestly, I'm not too happy about it. I'm not too thrilled about it. I feel like I could have got a better item than this. Um, it just, it just doesn't belong to me, not in a gamer's bag, you know? So, I mean, overall it's cool. It's, it's very sturdy. It's a nice notepad. I'll just use it probably to jot down some PC notes when I'm exchanging parts and all things like that. But yeah, I uh, just, I feel like this was a flop for this one. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. I mean, I don't know though. Maybe, you know, a lot of people out there would be like, Hey, this is awesome. And it feels like. It's another big item in here, so I'm going to grab it. feels like we have another pin. Ooh, another Fallout crate. Crate number 23 order. It is a Fallout pin. Um, reason why it looks like that. Sorry, I'm shaking. Uh, the reason why it looks like that is because the way it's colored. But it looks like he's holding a blood pack and a stim pack. It, it, yeah, it's it's weirdly colored, but this one's awesome. I, even though I don't collect pens. I mean, I have a couple laying around in a couple other crates that I have, but uh, never used. Um, I guess I'm trying to find the right backpack or whatever I want to put on them. But this is actually a very nice pen. It's very good quality. I can't bend it easy. It's pretty heavy. But yeah, so that's that's a win right there. I think so. All right. I'm sorry. I don't know why I put this out of the camera view. Let's put that there. We'll put the pin right here. Um, I knocked that over. This feels like it's the last item. And from what it feels like, this is either a t-shirt or some sort of flag. It's too big to be a bandana. Oh, I lied. I found another one hiding in there. So it looks like I found another pin in here. 
I don't want to pull out the big item yet. I just want to pull out the small items. Let's pull out this other pin. I like pulling them out back first, so that way we can get a little reveal. Um, another one from Loot Crate Gaming. Let's turn it around. And it is a collectible pin. I am not sure what this is from. I want to be totally honest with you. I am not sure. I like it, though. I really do. It's really nice. Clean it up a little bit. It says plus one on it. It seems to be a sort of a candy. This one's pretty cool. So we got ourselves like three nice pins out of it. All right. Now on to the main item. Oh, it's actually, I think it's a backpack. Yeah. I, that's awesome. This is probably the best value you're going to get in these bags. Is something like this. Let's pull it out. So there's the back. Nothing on it. It's your little backpack here. Your little travel pack. All right. So first off, let me say, of course, I mean, these aren't going to be premium quality. They're just not. But this right here, it feels really cheap. It does. I mean... I mean, honestly, let's. This is towards the younger audience, anyways. How small this is, a quick travel bag. Um, but this, yeah, it's just these feel my my personal shoelaces feel better quality than this. So just be aware of that. Um, now let's flip it around. <laughs> Fallout. So Fallout was a prop popular item in these bags. Um, this is nice. Fallout 76. There you go. I would be careful, though. So you got this fine knitting here, which is nice if you want to put something in there real quick. Um, this is kind of sewed on like that and like uh, 3D feel, you know. It's not printed on there. This feels like it would uh, last a little bit, although the fabric, I would be careful if you're washing because I feel like if you put this in the dryer too much, it's kind of like that fuzzy uh fabric here and then this right here is what i would be worried about this feels really cheap it feels like the minute you start you know twisting and turning this and folding it this image itself is going to start cracking a lot and it feels like if you wash this one too many times that this will actually start peeling off that's what it feels like i mean that's how cheap this print feels right here I mean, overall, this is this is a great product to get out of one of these bags. Really like this. Out of everything else that we got, um, I mean, again, ten dollars a bag. It's 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 not bad if you have the money just laying around and you want to get possibly a couple of cool things. If you're a collector like me, when it comes to video game stuff then I would say, why not? Go for it. And um, just make sure before you do, just kind of give the bags a feel around. Um, see what's in them. Uh, uh, so again, I'm not going to say that the possibility of getting two replica bags isn't there. I don't know. So far, I have probably went to three Best Buys and only found these two that were in stock. Now, I'm taking it because that's they have a high demand. I'm hoping that's the reason. Or maybe I just got lucky and went to a Best Buy and they just so happened to have those there. And, you know, I just took my chances and went with them. So before we end the video, we got the Roman Reigns show up and win notepad. We have the Fallout collectible pin, the mystery pin. Then we got the Fallout 76 silo bag. Along with the Fallout Jangles bandana, the Elder Scrolls pen travel bag, and then we have the Castlevania luggage tag, and then collectible pen. This is overall for 20 bucks this is what i got in my blind bags um with again with the these two items in itself i feel like i mean 
this is probably my $20 value right here. Um, to say that there's $25 worth of collectibles in the bag when you get just, I mean, that means that this is priced at, you know, way more than it should be because it's a licensed brand. Um, same thing with these, with the loot pens. I mean, yeah, it's just an overall gamble. But um, this is it. This is what you get. The possible items into what you can get in Gamers Blind Bags from Best Buy. Um, so that's about it. Thank you for joining PYWG on their first blind bag review. Uh, I hope to do more. I'm going to go different locations. Maybe I can find different things and do the same thing that do here. Hopefully give you a heads up on any new items or give you a warning before you purchase stuff like that. Because that's what I like to do. I'd rather waste the money than you having to waste the money. Um, so that's it. Thank you for joining PYWG. That's Play Your Way Gaming. I'm Sir Zhao, and until next time, deuces.